hello guys welcome to capti yes in this particular video i am i'm going to explain how this uh, view view applications view js applications can interact with uh, spring boot rest applications over http guys so before going in depth of this diagram i just wanted to explain <coughs> what is view js guys uh, if, if i think this is a very popular nowadays a uh, view js is nothing but it's uh, just a you know progressive framework for building user interfaces uh, especially if you are talking about you know uh, ui part it will cover all that layer uh, yeah so i think you will find much more in google if you just type trust me guys this is a very popular framework uh, web frameworks nowadays i think i have just checked that it is already you know um, having lots uh, having more you know github stars than angular framework so yeah, i don't want to go in, the, in 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 detail that so now let's have a look how how to start this uh, how to create the view application this is very simple guys i i will explain so for this for that i have to go to my repository yes guys i will just go here and i will explain i have already created so i will just going i will just explain how it has to be so we have one common guys called uh, before that we have to install yeah I, 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 before going to this we have to install there are some prerequisite uh, to go with this view js guys we required node js we have to install node js that is node package manager npn then we have to install this you know mm, yeah we have to install this CLI of you know in view CLI we have to install then next we have to install this uh, next we have to write view init web pack and your application name let's say view init web pack if you want to say uh, let's say I will say sample app sample app if you do this guys you will it will ask some application related informations uh, let's say it's downloading the uh, template yeah let it download see guys it's asking me yeah it's a project name web app let's say what is the description some description yeah it's taking author by default let us take now it's asking me it's asking me do we require a router i say no i, I just want to call some basic it's, it's, it's asking me yes link no i don't want right now i don't want test i don't want this also so guys it's telling me to that now if i say uh, if uh, if i say yeah uh, no it will handle it, it it will just download and if you want to install that dependency you can go with first option or else after creating the project if you want to install then you can say i will handle that myself if you say yes and install it will it will it will create that default template of webpack and it will install that all the related known modules so guys i don't want to do this right now because i order i have already done this so so once if you have so you will have some folder something like this with some package json and uh, it, it's exactly similar almost similar to the project directory of angular guys uh, if you have bit idea about the angular uh, angular 2 or 4 you will you will you will understand it will take it, it, it will in 
less span of time we will just cover this view applications also so yeah going to my slide so yeah next uh, next once if you have all the dependency installed of that application you just run np and run in development mode you can also run this in uh, you can also run in production mode and you can build for you can build the app for the production so guys i will just what i will do i will i will just you know run and i will show how it work how it looks yep if you notice my if you notice here the project is started on 8080 if you just go on 8080 you will see that application is running see guys yep my application is running all employees are recorded guys already you know I have a list I am showing here by default list of employees which are fetching from my backend. Mm, yeah, my backend is running here, guys. No need to confuse. Yep, my backend is running here. Spring Boot application. Mm. If you want to know more about this, you can just check my application Spring Boot application with OAuth. You will get that application, backend application. So coming to this point. I'm just showing the list of employees here, guys. If you go to the code, you will come to know that. These are very simple, guys. It's it, 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 it just almost similar to the Angular. So, see, uh, whatever if you are you if you are using any modules or components, you have to just you know you have to just register here. main or js you have to register like this is let's say i have used a bootstrap view so i have just imported and just i have done view dot use so that gonna help me the design part if you see this fancy design it's 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 because of that bootstrap view so i have just imported this model so this is the main it's act like you know guys that uh module app dot module dot ts how we have in angular so it's very simple i have just i, I don't want to this is a very initial first video in uh, you know view view js so i don't want to cover all this here uh, I, i'm just covering only one uh, i'm just covering yeah only one http get client only guys uh, before going to this code i just wanted to go to my slide and show see guys here yeah here as a user i just requested i just given a request uh, for view the you know uh, list of employees so uh, uh, that request goes to the you know my backend application that can communicate over http so for this uh, in view dot uh, application view application uh, i am handling http clients uh, with the help of this third party model called axios with the help of this uh, like uh, in angular uh, we have uh, in, in inbuilt module which, which is you know http so here i am using them some third party axios so through that this communication for to communicate over http uh, the request goes to my backend and it's bring the you know list of employees from the database so i got and uh, you know my backend side actually this is o oauth to application so it's required token so i am passing token with the request in the header so i will get the list of employees this is you know just a sample of overview of how these two applications can communicate so if you go to the code now see what i have done is i have just one done one common view file uh, where i have given some base url and i am passing token in the header 
I, I have just imported this file to this home dot view. In home dot view, what I am doing is um, I have just given this variable, and I have just called this created method. In this created method, I have assigned just a response of this whatever I get from that endpoints from this endpoints. So if the rest, if I got the rest, uh, uh, success response that is two hundred status, then this will get execute, and you know. Uh, once this get executed, see here what I am doing is in this template I am just doing here somewhere I am doing a for loop that is see table items items is equal to table items is equal to employee this is just a basic syntax of you know uh, view how it's you know how we have the ng for exactly in this fields. For table header, uh, table yeah, table headers, we have uh, we have to pass like this here. Once I have pass, if, see guys, if you notice here, if I don't pass these fields, it, the see guys, I just wanted to show one thing. See, if I don't pass, it has taken all the. Before it was only having four fields, so if I not pass that field, see it's taken almost all the fields of that. You no, know, of that particular. Yes, uh, Jason. So this is a way how I have fetched the data from the, you know, if you fetch the data from my backend. So this is a very simple application, guys. I just wanted to cover. I think I will, I will, I will, I will, I will go deep. Uh, in next video, we will see how to save the data and how to delete, update all this, all the. Uh, remaining part I will cover in the next uh, tutorial so don't need, need to confuse about this guys this is just a notify alert as soon as you check I have one I will get one alert here for that alert I have usually that yep guys uh, yeah I think I have done with the very first video of UJS if you have any doubt or questions you just drop me and I will just push this code on my GitLab repository. Sorry, GitHub repository. You can just take from there. I will mention the link as well. Okay, guys. Thank you. Have a great day.